Hey, what's up everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back to the Division 2 Weekly Cassie Mendoza Reset. Well, guys, today she is located over here at the Judiciary Square. You can just fast travel to uh, the Dark Zone East checkpoint over here to get there, you know. And as for Danny, he's located over here at the uh, Southwest area, basically opposite to the Air and Space Museum mission. Just fast travel there into the opposite building. He's uh, available downstairs. And uh, now, obviously, to reveal both of their location, you need to find the snitch. Uh, well, for me, he's always located uh, at the Truman Safe House area. I don't know why, but mostly uh, he's just always there for me. But for you, he might be in a different location. I would suggest watch any uh, guide videos out there. Or you can watch my video that I will link it in the comment section. Maybe you'll have a better chance of finding him. Now, let's take a look what she got for sale. Well, for the first named item, we have the commando, obviously, same as the countdown vendor. So if you want these items from... Uh, the countdown vendor but you don't play enough countdown you don't have much time or whatever or you just don't have enough credit you can just wait one day to get the same item from cassie with just normal credit right uh, obviously we have the pristine example here with the perfect focus as well crit damage and explosive resistance on it uh, then we have the shield sprinter assault rifle with perfect optimist talent and nine uh, ten point nine percent of stability here now this is a hunter exclusive item what i mean by that there are a bunch of hunters in the game if you clear them then you can see these items available at Kazi Mendoza. Otherwise, you'll basically see nothing there. So I would suggest you to just uh, clear the hunters. I mean, you know, they're fun to do. Plus, they do drop some cool looking masks. So why not? You know, do it for the mask. Uh, then we have the Hunter Killer. Obviously, it's also a Hunter exclusive item. And this week, we have, uh, well, a Hunter Killer with two yellow attributes, which is repair skill and status effect on it. I mean, could be useful. I mean, it's a golden gear piece. So you know golden gear does give you a status effect anyway so if you want that extra status effect you can get it from this i can change the repair skill to like crit chance or crit damage and perfect intimidate is obviously a great talent for your build uh you know if you're using smg then you may not need much of crit chance so yeah change the repair skill to crit damage add a crit damage mod and should be fine and next we have the rigor backpack here with 4.7 percent of crit chance necklace protocol chest piece with uh health on it we got rigor gloves here with hazard protection 8.6 percent a future initiative knee pads with 10.5% uh, of skill haste. Eclipse protocol holster here with skill damage, 8% there. We got a negotiate element mask with 4.9 crit chance, 12.4 uh, weapon damage there. We got a GR9 LMG with ignited talent, maxed out magazine size, maxed out damage target out of cover, but very low LMG damage there. We got a military uh, MK17 rifle uh, with sledgehammer talent, swap speed here, 12.9%. Uh, we got the uh, steelwork gloves with crit chance and armor region here, you can see. Uh, electric knee pads here with crit damage and skill haste. Ooh, 10.8% both, okay. Uh, we got utility protocol mod with 8.6% uh, of skill duration and a drone mod with 6.6% of deflect duration. So that's it for weekly Cassie Mendoza, guys. She's going to sell all of these items for the rest of the week, but she will change location. And obviously, Danny will also change his location. Now, speaking of Danny, let's go take a look what he's got available for us. Alrighty, guys. As for Danny, uh, like I said, he's available over here, the southwest area. Just the... Uh, Fast travel to the Air and Space Museum and then just enter the opposite building and you'll find him uh, inside there like from the staircase basically. Now as for his stock, well, oh, oh, okay, oh wait, this is the first time I see him selling more than three items. Uh, what? That's that's like a lot, that's six items. That's weird. Um, okay, so we got exotic cash, which is one, obviously. We got named item cash, is also one in stock. Field proficiency cash, two in stock. Optimization cash, one in stock. Crafting material cash is uh, three, okay? We got a year five uh, season three Vanguard, which is also one in stock. So that's a lot of caches uh, for the first time I've seen it, which is uh, actually kind of nice. I do want to get some of these crafting materials though. So yeah, I mean, come here and get it if you haven't gone uh, already. So yeah, Danny's, uh, Danny's selling a lot of caches uh, this week, which is, uh, which is great. So that's basically for the video. Hope you guys will find what you're looking for and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.